All right, welcome to another math video tutorial. What we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna quickly translate a figure on the coordinate plane. Now, when we translate a figure on the coordinate plane, that just means we are sliding the figure around. That's all we are doing. Now, a quick way to do this is first determine where the current coordinates are of the figure in question. So for this triangle here, point A is located at positive two, positive two. So we're gonna record those coordinates. So point A is located at two, two. Point B is located at five, two. And point C is located at positive two, positive six. All right, now what I like to do to determine where the new locations of points A, B, and C will be, is I like to take a look at the movement of the x direction and the y direction and take those numbers and add or subtract them directly to the original coordinates. For example, all of these numbers here are the x values of our points and the second numbers in the parentheses are the y values. Now, the problem is saying that we have to move negative six in the x direction. So all we have to do is subtract six from our x values. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start with two here, and we're gonna take two and subtract six, which is negative four. The next x value is five, so we're gonna take five and subtract six, and that would give us negative one. And the last x value is two, and we already had a two from the first example, and we know that two minus six is negative four. Now the next thing we're gonna do is determine what the y values will be. And the problem is telling us that we have to subtract nine from the y values. Now, how do we know we have to take that away from the y values? It is because it's saying that we have to go backwards nine in the y direction. So we can think about it as subtracting nine from the y values. So let's go ahead and take this y value two and subtract nine, that would be negative seven. Let's take this two, which is the same thing as this, so it's going to be negative seven again. And then we're gonna take six and subtract nine, and that will give us negative three. Now we can see that all values for the coordinates here are negative, which means the points are gonna be in quadrant number three, which is located right here. So let's go ahead and plot these points right here. The new location of point A is gonna be at negative four, negative seven, which is right here. So I'm gonna put A with a little mark by it. A prime, that is the new location of point A. Point B is going to be located at negative one, negative seven. So this is the new location of B. And the new location of C is at negative four, negative three, which is right here. All right, so let's go ahead and take our triangle and slide it negative six in the X direction. Now, any negative movement in the x direction means to the left because the x axis goes left and right. But if we go to the left, we can see that the numbers are getting more negative. So anything that is a loss or going backwards is to the left. And anything that is a negative movement on the y axis or in the y direction will be going downwards. So we're gonna slide this triangle a distance of one to the left, two to the left, three, four, five, six. So we just move that negative six in the x direction. Now we have to move it negative nine in the y direction. So we go downwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and of course, nine. So the way that we just did this is we figured out where the coordinates were gonna be first and then we can just put the triangle at those coordinates. Now, some people just like to look at the coordinate plane and slide their figure over six to the left and then drop it down nine. However, sometimes you might get coordinates that will not fit on your provided coordinate plane. For example, if you had coordinates that were say in the hundreds or maybe like 78 and negative 82 or something like that, you would have to use mathematics to determine where the new coordinates would be located. So in that case, all you would do is take the change in the x direction and apply that change to the x values, and you would take the change in the y direction and apply that change to the y values. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math video. 
please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new videos to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.